Hey people, welcome back. Dynamic MX uh, 91 customer says that uh, when they move about, they hold it in certain angle, it works, but in other angles, it doesn't work. I know what's wrong with it because I've done these many times, but I will sort of show you how I fix this issue. Um, I'm going to jump in straight away and start dismantling the unit. It's nothing to do with the motor, it's nothing to do with the brush, it's nothing to do with, with, with uh, the, the switch. So let's start dismantling this. So see, it's already been worked on. This has already been worked on. So uh, very interesting. Very very interesting. Okay. So any electrical work, I would advise you to be handled by a trained electrician. Or people are competent, but uh, I don't. I take no responsibility of you sort of carrying this work out yourself. All right. So let's uh, and here's the culprit. Okay, there is a break, and there is a break also in the wire. Right, that is the culprit. Okay. nicely tinned the, the whole idea is when you're screwing the actual uh, connector back on or the switch back on because of strand and if you over tighten it you can very easily chop those strands so by putting a bit of a solder on it you, you know there's less chance of that happening that's all now we've got this wrapped up it's in dry so let's sort the uh, out
the reason why I'm going from corner to corner just so that this thing's uh, sort of seats, you know, nice and snugged. Um, and now I'm going to go around several times just to make sure that it's all nice and tight. Alright, there you have it. So that's done. Let's just check the blade. Make sure that everything else is alright at the bottom. So have a quick look at tightened as well yeah we're good to go we have a working unit although I didn't test it I know that it's we have a working unit uh, from my past experience so let's sort of see what we have right. so we have a spinning Hope you guys have learned something from this video.